Just recently, ex-OpenAI employee Leopold Aschenbrenner, known for leaking secrets, made a stunning revelation. Now independent, he warned in a tweet, most people aren't ready for what's coming in AI. He also released situational awareness, exposing how big companies are secretly paving the way to AGI. Watch this video in full, because we are going to reveal secrets about AGI that OpenAI and big companies are hiding. Leopold Aschenbrenner was reportedly fired for allegedly leaking secret information of OpenAI. Situational Awareness The Decade Ahead document, Aschenbrenner explains how conversations have shifted from discussing $10 billion compute clusters to $100 billion and even $1 trillion clusters. Every six months, companies are raising their goals. The race for AGI has begun with machines that can think and reason. By 2025-2026, these machines will surpass college graduates and by the end of the decade, they'll be smarter than any of us, reaching super intelligence. Well, he even talked about it on the recent podcast with Dwarkesh Patel. Yeah, I think probably the sort of 10 gigawatt-ish range is sort of my best guess for mm -hmm. when we get the sort of true AGI. I mean, yeah, I think it's sort of like one gigawatt data center. And again, I think actually compute is overrated and we're gonna talk about that, mm -hmm. but we'll talk about compute right now. So, you know, I think sort of 25, 26, we're gonna get models that are, um, you know, basically smarter than most college graduates. Um, I think sort of the practice, a lot of the economic usefulness, I think really depends on sort of, you know, sort of on hobbling. Basically it's, you know, the models are kind of, you know, they're smart, but they're limited, right? They're, you know, there's this chat bot, you know, and things like being able to use a computer, things like being able to do kind of like agentic long horizon tasks. Yeah. Um, and then I think by 27, 28, you know, if you extrapolate the trends and, and, you know, we'll talk about that more later and I talk about it in the series, I think we hit, you know, basically, you know, like as smart as the smartest experts, I think the hobbling trajectory kind of points to, um, you know, looks much more like an agent than a chat bot. Um, and much more, almost like basically like a drop-in remote worker, right? So it's not like, I think basically, I mean, I think this is the sort of question on the economic returns. I think a lot of the, a lot of the intermediate AI systems could be really useful, but you know, it actually just takes a lot of schlep to integrate them. He's also warning that national security measures are about to get a major upgrade, like nothing we've seen since forever. According to him, only a handful of people, mostly in San Francisco's AI labs, really get what's going on. In his document, he lays out how we're moving from GPT-4 to full-blown AGI by 2027. Think about it. GPT-2 was like preschool level smarts. And now, in just four years, GPT-4's at high school level. If this keeps up, by 2027, AI could do the job of AI researchers themselves. Well, if you want to know more about their upcoming model, GPT-5, you can watch the video linked in the i button. He also showed this chart that how fast GPT models are evolving. He predicts even faster growth from 2024 to 2028. That means by 2027, 2028, we might have AI that can literally learn and improve on its own, speeding up advancements in ways we can't even imagine. He also points out that right now, AI is still held back by limits, but once those shackles are off, AI could transform everything. Already, AI's beating humans in stuff like solving tough math problems. Back in 2021, GPT-3 struggled, but now GPT-4 is acing it. Ashenbrenner's document is like a loud wake-up call for anyone into AI's future. It's telling us to pay attention to where this is going and get ready for how AI is going to shake things up big time. So, what do you think? Share your views, and don't forget to watch these videos on your screen to stay updated.